All right, so you may have noticed in the last video that upgrading R in Windows was something that I need to do because I got version 301 and 302 is out. However, it is the case that updating R in Windows is a headache if you do it manually. You go ahead and read this question from the fact. I'll give you the link to it on the uh, the R Project main site, and you find out that you got to move some directories by hand. You got to make sure that the packages are still going to match, and that can be a headache. But we're going to skip all of that. We're going to do it from within R and hopefully automate the process such that it's painless and simple and easy. Let's give it a shot. So as is our new normal, I'm going to pop open the Windows PowerShell. I'm going to launch my R executable. And once I'm within R, I'm going to install a package called Update R, and that's going to take us through the rest of the process. So you'll recall from previous videos that we can use install.packages, and we code a string with the name of the package we wish to use. Pardon me, the name of the package is install R, not update R, and that matters. So let's get right install R, close that out. And we're going to pick a cran mirror once again. Kansas is close to me. Choose the one that's close to you. And it'll rip it on down, get it all ready for you. So we'll require that package so that we can use it. And we get a warning because the package was built under a previous version. Good sign that I need to update. Now the function that I need to call is named update R, which explains some of my previous confusion. So let's just run that thing. Pass it no arguments and we'll see what we get. And it says there's a newer version of R for you to download. We're using 301. We can get 302. Go ahead and hit OK. Do you wish to see news? And I'll say no. I don't want to read that right now. Do you wish to install the latest version? Yeah, generally advisable. And we'll begin the download now. Alrighty, and once that download finishes, Windows is going to interrupt me and ask if I'm willing to let that program make changes to my computer. I am. I'll click yes. Gives me an option. Unfortunately, I only speak English, so I'll choose that for my language. And it'll go ahead and take us through the setup wizard. This is going to look an awful lot like what you saw in the first videos there. And we'll go ahead and keep moving past all this. And it'll run itself just like it did before. And once that process finishes, we'll click Finish to end setup. And now it's going to load up the tools package because it's got some moving to do. So you'll notice down here in the console, I've got the cursor blinking but no ability to provide input. So it is working in the background. And it's got a question for me. Do you wish to copy your packages from the older version of R to the newer version of R? And the answer is going to be yes. And once your packages are copied to the new R, do you wish to keep packages from the library in the old R installation? And we're going to go ahead and say yes just to remain compatibility backwards in case I need it. Do you wish to update your packages in the newly installed R? This one's important. You want to do yes just to ensure compatibility with the new stuff. Got some blinking. It's going to have to download those packages that needed updates. And do you wish to start the R GUI of your new R installation? We'll go ahead and hit yes. Here we are. We're in version 302. And we can go ahead and quit out of that. Don't need to save the workspace here. And you wish to quit R here, you can hit yes. It doesn't save the workspace. We find ourselves back at the shell. Now, in order to launch that application, we're going to need to change the path that we issue. You'll notice that we're pointing at R301 here. And if we change that to 2, we'll find the same folder structure. And we can launch R302 from the command line in the same way. So that was pretty easy. Just a few simple questions to answer. You can go read about the details, the decisions you're making there. But for most folks, the things that I clicked will suffice utterly to maintain both your new setup and your old setup if for some reason you have to go back to it. Now, updating R is something that only happens uh, you know, on, on a semi-frequent basis. It's primarily done so that you can maintain compatibility with new packages as they're rolled out. The way that you interface with the core functionality of R is, is not going to change much over time. So there you have it. Save yourself some hassle. Use that install R package and the update R function from within that package to automate the upgrading process for R. Again, this is Ed from MyBringBack.com. Appreciate you spending some time watching these videos. Go ahead and subscribe on the YouTube channel. And we will keep providing content that gets you that much closer to conducting quality data analysis in R with ease.